Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Bubble with Stripe. We're going to build this website right here to give the user the functionality to sign up, sign up for a subscription, and then it's going to redirect them to a dashboard page. So this is how it looks right here. We're going to click sign up. We're going to get started. It's going to direct us to this checkout page. As we can see, we actually have a 14 day free trial, which I'll show you how to set up. This is a test, so I'm not actually getting charged here. Don't get any bright ideas. This is not my actual debit card. <laughs> it's going to direct us to our actual dashboard. In this case, it's just sending us to a settings a plan and billing page. We can see when our plan, what our plan is, when our plan actually renews. And we also have the functionality to go ahead and cancel the subscription as well. So if you want to learn how to integrate Stripe with your bubble application, go ahead and build along with me. And then towards the end, you'll be able to add this to your application and start charging customers. Hope you enjoy. So the first thing we're going to do here is add the Stripe plugin. This allows us to go ahead and connect to our actual Stripe account, and set up all the functionality. And so we're just going to type in Stripe here, install. So now for us to be able to connect it to our actual Stripe account, we need to get the secret key and the publishable key from Stripe. Now we're just going to be getting the development ones, um, but if you are were to publish your application to the public and uh, you know have the ability to you know take real money and have real transactions, then you can use the live keys. Um, but in our case, uh, we're going to use the development for testing purposes. We can create you know test purchases and test subscriptions so that we can uh, make sure it works. So if we go over to Stripe here. Once you've gone ahead and created your accounts, we're going to want to turn on test mode up here at the top right. Cool. So you're using test data. Real money won't be charged. Cool. So now we want to go ahead and get our keys. So if we click, actually, it's right here. So you can do it right here. Or if you go to developers and then you go to API keys right here, then we can see our publishable key and our secret key. So let's go ahead and copy those and we're going to paste that in there. We got our secret key. Awesome. So now that that's pasted in there, we will be able to go ahead and connect to Stripe uh, with Bubble. Alrighty. So now that Stripe is all connected to our Bubble application, we're going to go ahead and uh, get into here and get some of the functionality working. So to start, um, let's go ahead and go to the sign up page. It's the first thing we're going to want to do. Um, and, you know, like I said before, this is already all designed. It's fairly simple to design it. You just need some input forms and a button. That's essentially all you need, right? Cool. So we're going to go ahead and double click on the sign up form or sign up button, I mean, and we're going to click add workflow and we're going to click here to add an action and we're going to count sign the user up. <clears throat> okay. So the email is going to be that input email element we have on the page, the input form. And then for the password, we're going to use input passwords value one thing we also collected on sign up is the name so we're going to want to do change another field um, oh real quick i didn't add it yet to the actual da user data type so let's go back to data and that's one thing we do need to add let's do create a new field we're going to do name field type text so now there's a name associated with the actual user so we can use that data cool so let's go back to our workflow, sign the user up, add all fields. And we're going to do input names value. So now we can collect the email, the password, and their name. All right, so once they're signed up, we're going to want to redirect them to the index page where they can make their purchase and subscribe for whichever you know subscription they want to sign up for. So now we're going to want to click here to add another action, navigation, go to page, in this case, it's going to be index, but wherever your actual landing page or your subscription page is located, that's where you can navigate them to. Let's test this out. So test six at email.com. Oh, nope. That's where the name goes. Uh, Kobe. Perfect. So we've signed up. We are now being redirected to the actual subscription page. It's perfect. All right. So now onto the login page. We're going to do things a little bit different for this one because we're going to add a few uh, conditionals to ensure that if somebody is redirected to our dashboard, they actually have a subscription, right? When somebody signs up, 
they're not going to have a subscription yet because they're a new user. And so we're just going to automatically redirect them to the pricing page. But if they already have an account, we need to figure out, do they have a subscription or do they not? So when button login is clicked, we're going to do navigation, go to page index. So we're going to send them to the actual index page. If the current users Stripe customer subscription status is not active and it has to be a lowercase a or will not work. So if they do not have a subscription, we're going to redirect them to the index page. Okay. And then after that, we're just going to go ahead and log the user in inputs, emails, value, inputs, passwords, value, stay logged in. Yes, that's fine. All right, cool. So we can go and close that. We're going to add another action. Now we're going to go ahead and navigate them to the actual dashboard of our application, right? They've paid, then they have now been granted access to, you know, get to what they paid for, right? The content that's on your dashboard. So destination dashboard, but we want to make sure they're only going there if they have an active subscription. So only when current users Stripe customer subscription, all these data fields are not actually things that data fields that we've created. They're ones that are pulled over automatically from the Stripe plugin. Stripe customer subscription status is active. If it is active, then we're going to go ahead and let them pass, let them through the gates. Cool. So we finished the sign up, finished the login. That's all working just fine. Before we move on to the actual index page and the functionality of signing the customer up for the subscription, we want to go back to Stripe and create our product. And so we're going to want to go ahead. Uh, we're in the product catalogs catalog section. So you can just search for that product catalog. And then we got that right there, right? So now we're on our product product catalog. We're going to want to click add a product. Cool. So the name um, for our case, right? We have the pro plan, right? So we can just call it pro plan. Great. Uh, we can put a description if we want reoccurring subscription, right? It's not going to be a one off. It's going to be a monthly reoccurring subscription amount is going to be $20 as advertised and the billing period is monthly. We want to add that. Perfect. So now we have the product added, the actual subscription. If you have multiple products, <clears throat> like maybe a cheaper version or a more expensive version, then you can create all three and then um, you know assign different buttons to those specific products. So in our case here, the main thing we're looking for is the API ID for the actual product. This allows us to tell Bubble, hey, sign this customer up or this user with this actual product in Stripe. So we're going to want to copy this and we're going to go back to bubble. We're going to click on, we're going to make sure we're on the index page, right? The subscription page. And we're going to want to tap on, uh, get started here. I'm not going to create the functionality for the free version or this enterprise get in touch one. We're just going to focus on the one and then you can replicate it wherever you need to. So get started at a workflow. So the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to click here to add an action. And we're going to subscribe the customer to or subscribe the user to the product that we created. So we're going to look for subscribe the user to a plan. Perfect. We're going to apply this action to the current user, update existing subscription. Um, we're going to uncheck that for now. We may have a different section. You could build another section later specifically designed for the customer to be able to update their subscription. Um, so subscription type. I'm just going to leave that and then the stri stripe plan name that is referring to this actual api id right which we've already copied so it ends in f o n t okay there it is now f o n t right that's what we got over here f o n t perfect so now this is assigned to that product that we created the rest of this we can leave um one thing that you could do is uh, end of the trial so you can actually create a you know one week two week trial for your actual product and so the way we would do that is we would go ahead and do current date slash time and then it should be plus days and then we can just type in if it's a 14 day free trial just type in 14. 
So let's do a test right from the beginning. So we're going to go to the sign up page preview. I haven't added the functionality to redirect the customer to the dashboard page yet, but let's see if the actual uh, customer populates in Stripe. Let's test that out. So my name is Kobe. Fine. Redirect. So test7 at email.com is going to be the email we're going to be looking for. And then we're going to click on get started here. Perfect. Then it's going to take us to this checkout page through Stripe. All right. So we can see right here, start trial. And we can see up here, try pro plan 13 days free. So we're going to go ahead and start trial. Remember, this is in a test mode, right? And so nothing's being charged. This is a placeholder credit card. It's a good way to test to see if it would work when it's actually live. So start trial. Cool. Went through successfully. Your credit card information was successfully entered and you've been subscribed to the plan. Cool. So we click up here and we go to customers. Now we can see the test seven here. And we can see that they are on the pro plan and that their trial expires on April 8th and they'll start being charged 20 bucks. Perfect. Cool. So real quick, we're going to want to go back to the index page and create the functionality where the user will be redirected to the dashboard page once they pay. So navigation, go to page dashboard. Now we only want to direct them to the dashboard if that uh, payment or that subscription was actually went active, if it was successfully processed. So results of step one, their status is active. Like I said before, lowercase a, because that's what Stripe's going to look for. If you do uppercase, it won't work. So if the actual subscription and the payments that the user you know, placed, if it was successful, then they're going to be redirected to our dashboard page. So like I showed you guys at the beginning, the dashboard page, once the customer actually pays and is an active user is essentially just a managed subscription page. It's what I did for these purposes to kind of show you the subscription management functionality. On that page, it displays the actual subscription the user is signed up on. And we want to be able to change that depending on what subscription they're on or if they cancel. And so for us to be able to go ahead and display that data, we're going to use an option set for this purpose. So new option set, current plan, so the current plan that the customer is on. And for our case, there's only two plans. There's the free plan and the $20 a month pro plan. And I kind of type it out like this because this is what's going to be displayed on their actual settings uh, subscription management page. Cool. So that's all it is. So when they actually subscribe for this specific subscription, this plan, right? We want them to be assigned this option under their account. Uh, before we do that, let's go back to data types user. We're going to, want to create a current plan and then assign that a option set. Oh, at the bottom there, current plan, create. By default, we want to make sure it's none. Once they actually sign up, then it'll, one will be assigned to them. So if we go back to workflows, we're going to go to page dashboard. And then we're going to go ahead and do make changes to current user. And we're going to add all fields. We're going to delete name. We just want to change the current plan. So if they go ahead and click on this button and they successfully go through the checkout, then we're going to change their current plan to the $20 a month pro plan. So that's going to be the plan they'll be assigned. And then we can also go ahead and add a conditional just to be safe. Result of step one's status is active, only if it's active, right? So we don't want them to be assigned to this option if they are not, if they didn't pay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go through this one more time, make sure it's all working. All right, sign up. Cool. Now we're on the plan page. We're going to click get started. Cool. So now we've been directed to this page. We could go in here and disable these little pop-ups, but that's kind of out of the scope of this video. But we're going to go and click OK here. It did not redirect us. All right, what's going on? Cool. So this is what's nice about debug, why it's important to use the debugger. So as running next through the flow, and we're at the point where they've paid, and now they're being, we're attempting to redirect them to go to page dashboard. 
The reason why it's not redirecting them is because their subscription subscription is not active. It's in a trialing mode. Status is trialing. And so we just need to go back in and add the workflow to allow them to enter even if they're in a trial mode. Cool. So on the workflow page for index, we're going to go right here and where it says active, status is active. We're going to click more. We're going to click or result of step one's status is trialing. So how do you spell that? Trialing. Yes. Okay, cool. So now if it is active or in a trialing mode, then we'll go ahead and redirect it. Like I said before, that's why it's important to use the debugger. And let's go ahead and test it. Cool. There we go. It redirected to the actual dashboard page, which we have not uh, set up yet, right? So it's already showing that it's renewing on April 8, which is great. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at a few other things. So let's go to dashboard. We are on the dashboard page now. And let's go ahead and create the functionality where we can see what subscription the user is currently signed up for. So in this section here, we're gonna display that information. So we're gonna do current users, current plan, display. Current users, current plans, display. It's gonna show us the title of the actual option that is currently assigned to this user, which is determined based on what subscription they signed up for. So in this case, we have the pro plan, which they signed up for, it assigned that option set to them. We can then go to our workflow and if they downgrade to the free plan, we want to make sure when they click that button, when they downgrade, that it actually, you know, changes the option set as well. Cool. So this is going to display when the actual subscription renews. And so what we're going to do for that is we're going to do current users, Stripe customer subscription, and then it should be current period ending date. So in this case, the end and the end, the period would be the 30 days. And then what is that ending date? And then it's going to format it with the time as well, which we don't want, right? We just want the actual date. And so we're going to do formatted as, and then this is, you know, that's going to be fine. Or no, we can do the full month name. Okay, cool. Then users current time zone, close. <clears throat> Perfect. And that's it. So that should now display, oh, we're going to need to change this as well. Uh, current users name. So say hello, Kobe, and then display this. So let me refresh this page and see what it shows. All right. So it was the same mistake as before. Uh, we had only active in here for when the actual plan would change. And so we need to add the or for trialing as well. So result step one status is trialing. That should now work. Now it says the current plan they're on and then when it renews. The last thing we need to do here is uh, create the functionality for the customer to be able to cancel their subscription. So let's go to the dashboard page. And this is fairly simple. We're gonna go to design, click cancel subscription, add workflow. When they click on cancel subscription, so we're gonna go to payments and then we're gonna go to cancel the user's plan. And that will go ahead and cancel their plan. When they do that though, we also wanna change the user's option. So we're gonna go make changes to current user, add all fields, delete, and then we'll just change it to the free plan if they've canceled. We'll just downgrade them to the free plan. So let's go ahead and test it real quick. Cancel subscription, boom, boom. subscription has been successfully canceled. Now it says monthly plan, free plan, doesn't renew because it's just a free plan, right? It's not gonna be charging them. And then we can see on Stripe's end, we can see now pro plan has been canceled. There you go. Awesome, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped you out. Now you should be able to go ahead out and go out there and add Stripe to your applications, start collecting payments. If you needed any help with your bubble application or you just wanted to hire us to build it for you, down in the description, I have my email and also my website where you can go ahead and get in touch with us and we can see if um, that's something we can do for you. So other than that, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.